Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're gonna read David Goes to School by David Shannon. David's teacher always said, no, David, no yelling, no pushing, no running in the halls. David, you're tardy. Tardy means late. Sit down, David. He's being silly in class. Don't chew gum in class. David, raise your hand. Keep your hands to yourself. Pay attention. He's staring out the window. Wait your turn, David. I don't care who started it. They had a food fight. It's not a good idea. David, recess is over. Again, what do you think he has to do? Probably go potty, right? <clears throat> That's it, mister. You're staying after school. He drew all over his desk. That's not a very good choice. David, have you finished? But look how nice he cleaned all of them. Good job, David. She gave him a gold star. Even though he messed up, he still made it better. Yes, David, you can go home now. The end. Next, what we're going to do is I want you to get out your Play-Doh mat and that big box of stuff you got to take home to learn. There should be a Play-Doh mat with your name on it and there's little Play-Dohs in the corner. And I want you to get the Play-Doh that you got from school. And I'll wait a second for you to get that out. What I want you to do with it is I want you to try and make snakes with your Play-Doh. So take a little bit of Play-Doh and roll it between your hands. And I want you to try and spell out your name with that Play-Doh. Your name should be on your Play-Doh mat. And I want you to try and use those snakes to make your name. And then after you do that, you can just play with your Play-Doh for a bit. After we're done with Play-Doh, we're gonna talk about our good coloring chart again. We talked about this yesterday, and we're just gonna review it again today and what makes good coloring. When we do good coloring, we stay in the lines, our colors make sense, and we don't leave a bunch of white spaces. So this row of coloring is the best coloring. Our color makes we color in the line, our color makes sense, and we don't have white spaces. When we start practicing our coloring, this is what our coloring should look like. All right, and yesterday, we talked about the word independence. And independence is something you can do all on your own. And so I'm gonna read a story about independence, and it's called Duck on a Bike. This story is also by David Shannon. He wrote our story we read just a little bit ago too. Duck on a bike. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was still fun. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo, said Cow, but what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep, but what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. 
He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. Woof, said Dog, but what he thought was, that's a pretty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat, but what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. And Cat's taken, laying down, cleaning herself. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse, but what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode towards Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Cluck, cluck, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Ma, said Goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Goats like to eat anything. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, Pig, said Duck. Oink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Look at all those kids riding bikes. And all the animals got pretty excited. What do you think they're thinking about? Maybe. Now all of the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Then they put the bikes back by the house and no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. So in our story, Duck learned some independence on how to ride a bike all by himself. At the beginning, he wasn't riding the best, was he? It said at the beginning of the book, he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. So he wasn't the best at riding the bike at first, but he learned how to do it independently all on his own, and he ended up being a very good bike rider. So that's what independence is all about. All right, have a great day.